Mercury is a fascinating element. It's a shiny silver white metal. What makes mercury special is that it's liquid at room temperature. Most other metals are solid at these temperatures. Mercury is found naturally in the Earth's crust. It's a pretty rare metal though. Mercury has been known for centuries. Ancient civilizations were aware of this unusual metal. They used it for various purposes, including medicine and alchemy. Today, mercury is still used in some thermometers and other instruments. Mercury is often found in a mineral called cinnabar. This mineral has been known and used since ancient times, primarily for its vibrant color and its mercury content. Cinnabar is a mercury sulfide mineral. Its chemical composition is HGS, and it is the most significant ore of mercury. It has a bright red color, which is why it's sometimes called dragon's blood. This striking hue has made it a popular pigment in art and decoration throughout history. Cinnabar is the most common source of mercury. The extraction process involves heating the ore to release mercury vapor, which is then condensed into liquid mercury. It's found in many parts of the world. Major deposits are located in Spain, Italy, the United States, and China, among other countries. Cinnabar comes in two main forms, alpha and beta. These forms differ in their crystal structures and rarity. Alpha cinnabar is the more common form. It is typically found in a hexagonal crystal structure, which is stable at room temperature. It has a hexagonal crystal structure. This form is often used in various industrial applications due to its stability. Beta cinnabar, on the other hand, is much rarer. It forms under high temperature conditions and is less stable at room temperature. It has a cubic crystal structure. This form is less commonly encountered and is of interest mainly to mineral collectors and researchers. Both forms are red, but alpha cinnabar is usually a brighter red. This vivid coloration makes it easily distinguishable from the rarer beta form. For centuries, cinnabar has been prized for its vibrant color. People ground it into a fine powder. This powder, known as vermilion, was used as a pigment. Vermilion was highly valued for its bright red hue. It was used in a variety of applications. Artists used vermilion extensively in their paintings. It added a rich, warm red to their artwork. Vermilion was also used in inks, dyes, and even cosmetics. Its use dates back to ancient civilizations. Examples include the Romans and the Chinese. While beautiful, vermilion has a dark side. It's highly toxic. This is because of the mercury content. Over time, people realized that vermilion posed serious health risks. Exposure to vermilion can cause mercury poisoning. With growing awareness of these dangers, safer alternatives were sought. Synthetic pigments were developed. These pigments offered a similar red color without the toxicity. As a result, the use of vermilion gradually declined. Today, it's rarely used. Safer alternatives are preferred. Section 5. Extracting Mercury Traditional Methods Extracting mercury from cinnabar is a crucial process. Traditionally, this was done through heating. This process is called roasting. Cinnabar ore is heated to high temperatures in a furnace. The heat causes the mercury sulfide to break down. As the ore heats up, mercury vapor is released. This vapor is then collected and cooled. Upon cooling, it condenses back into liquid mercury. While effective, this method has drawbacks. It releases harmful mercury vapor into the environment. Section 6. The Chemical Approach – A Safer Alternative To address the environmental concerns, a safer method was developed. This method uses a chemical reaction to extract mercury from cinnabar. This approach is considered more environmentally friendly. It minimizes the release of harmful mercury vapor. The chemical method involves using a reagent. This reagent reacts with the sulfur in cinnabar. This reaction frees the mercury, allowing it to be collected safely. This method is preferred today due to its reduced environmental impact. Section 7. Chemical Extraction A Step-by-Step -step Process the chemical extraction of mercury from cinnabar involves several steps. First, crushing and grinding. Cinnabar ore is crushed and ground into a fine powder. 
This is a crucial step as it increases the surface area of the ore, making the subsequent chemical reactions more efficient and effective. The fine powder allows for better interaction with the chemicals used in the extraction process. Next, we move on to the reaction with sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide, also known as NaOH, is a strong base that plays a vital role in the extraction process. The powdered cinnabar is mixed with a solution of sodium hydroxide, creating a slurry. This slurry is then heated to facilitate the chemical reaction. Heating the mixture is essential as it speeds up the reaction, ensuring that the cinnabar and sodium hydroxide interact thoroughly. The heat helps break down the cinnabar, allowing the mercury to be released from its ore form. Following that, we observe the formation of mercury. The chemical reaction produces liquid mercury, which can be collected. This liquid mercury is the primary product of the extraction process. However, it is not yet pure. The collected mercury might contain impurities, such as other metals or chemical residues from the extraction process. To ensure the mercury is of high quality, it undergoes further purification processes. These processes remove any remaining impurities, resulting in pure, usable mercury. The purification steps are critical to achieving the desired purity level for various industrial and scientific applications. Section 8. Mercury's Legacy – Understanding Its Importance Mercury, often recognized by its silvery liquid form, has fascinated humans for centuries. Its unique properties have made it a subject of study and utilization across various fields. Mercury is a unique element with a long and storied past. Ancient civilizations revered it, using it in rituals and medicines, believing it held mystical properties. From its use in pigments to its role in modern technology, mercury has left its mark on human civilization. Artists once used it to create vibrant colors, while modern industries rely on it for its conductive properties in devices like thermometers and fluorescent lights. However, it's crucial to remember that mercury is also a toxic substance. Exposure can lead to severe health issues affecting the nervous system and other vital organs. Understanding mercury's properties, its extraction processes, and the safety precautions associated with its handling is paramount. Scientists have developed methods to safely extract and utilize mercury, ensuring minimal risk to human health and the environment. By promoting responsible practices and exploring safer alternatives, we can continue to benefit from mercury's unique properties while minimizing its potential risks. Innovations in science are paving the way for safer substitutes, reducing our reliance on this hazardous element. Education and awareness are key in this ongoing effort to balance utility and safety.